Hi, my name is Adrian, and I'm going to be reading the Keeping Quilt. When my great grandma Anna came to America, she wore the same thick overcoat and big boots she had worn for farm work. But her family weren't dirt farmers anymore. In New York City, her father's work was holding things in a wagon and the rest of the family made artificial flowers all day. Everyone was in a hurry and it was also crowded. Not like in the back home Russia, but all the same, it was their home and most of their neighbors were just like them. When Anna went to school, English sounded to her like pebbles dropping into shallow water. In six months, she was speaking English. Her parents almost never learned, so she spoke English for them too. The only thing she had left off back home Russia were her dress and her babushka. She liked to throw up into her into the air where she was dancing. And her dress was getting too small after her mother had swallowed sewn her a new one. She took her old dress and babushka. Then from a basket of old clothes she took uncle's from Maria's shirt, Aunt Havela's night dress and her apron of Aunt Natasha's. We will make a quilt to help us always remember home. Anna's mother said it would be like having the family in back home in Russia dance around us at night. And so it was Anna's mother invited all of the neighbors Ladies, they cut out animals and flowers from the scraps of clothing. Anna kept the needles threaded and handed them to be the ladies as they needed them. The border of the coat was made of Amer- Anna's bubbles. On Friday night, Anna's mother would say the prayers that started the Shab- Shabbat. The family ate tia and chicken soup. The quilt was the tablecloth. <coughs> Anna grew up and fell in love with great grandpa Sasha. To show he wanted to be her husband, he gave Anna a gold coin and dried flour and a piece of rock salt. They tried all tied into a lean handkerchief and the the gold was for wealth, the flower for love and the s- salt of their lives would have flavor. She expected the kindly they were engaged. Under the wedding, Humba, Anna, Anna, and Sasha presumed each other's love and understanding. After the wedding, the men and women celebra- celebrated se- separated. When my grandma Carol was born, Anna wrapped her daughter in a quilt to welcome her warmly into the world. Carrie was given a gift of gold, flower, salt, and bread. Gold, so she would never know perry. A flower, so she would always love salt, so her life would always have flavor. And bread, so that she would never know hunger. Carrie learned to keep the sun bath and to cook and clean and do washing. Married, you'll be someday, Anna told Carrie, and 
Again, the quilt became a wedding group. Gupta, this time for Kurt's wedding, Grandpa George, men and women celebrated together, but they still did not dance together. And Carrie's wedding was a gold coin bread and salt. Carrie George moved to the farm in Michigan, and great grandma Anna came to live with them. The quilt once again wrapped a new little girl, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen called in a lady grandma grandma and had grown very old and was sick a lot of time. The quilt kept her legs warm. On Anna's ninety eighth birthday, the cake was a cool shake, a rich cake with raisins and candle fruit. When great grandma's when great Anna Anna's died, prayers were said to lift her soul to heaven. My mother Mary Ellen was now grown up. When Mary Ellen left home, she took the quilt with her. When she became a bride, the quilt became her hopta for the first time. Friends who were not Jew Jewish came to the wedding. My mother wore a suit, but in her boutique there were gold, blood, and salt. The quilt was me, Patricia into the world and it was the tablecloth for my first birthday. At night I would trace my fingers around the edges of each animal on the quilt before I went to sleep. I told my mother stories about the animals on the quilt. She told me those thieves had made the horse was a had made the chicken wolf dress, had made the flowers and wolf babushka wear around the edge of the quilt. The quilt was a pretended cape when I was in the bull ring or sometimes a tent in the streaming Amazon jungle. On my wedding, at my wedding to and knows my Mario men and women dance together. In my boutique were gold, bread, and salt, and a sprinkle of wine, so I would always know laughter. <coughs> 20 years ago, I held Tree's dance in my quilt for the first time. Someday she too will leave home and she will take a quilt with her. And that was the keeping quilt.